Welcome back to Duffy Not Definitive. I'm Ken. And I'm Bethany. And we're just a couple of kooky, crazy kids in love that love doing some reaction videos together. Oh, we so totally do. And uh, so we saw Hell of a Boss. We did. And loved it. And uh, now we got to check out Has Been Hotel. Uh, we checked out the trailers for it a long time ago, and so now we're checking out the pilot finally. Sad that, you know, because I know we're going to love this one too, because it's by the same creator. And it's sad that we only have the pilot so far, but hopefully the rest of the series is coming shortly. And if you want to check out our Hell of a Boss reactions, you can go ahead and check out the description of this video. We have a playlist there for you. It makes it super convenient to binge. All right, are you ready? I'm ready. Are you ready? Yes. Okay. Somber. Setting? Somber? Somber and like Disney ass. Uh -huh. uh, oh! I'm alive! I'm alive! <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for the fun time, hot stuff. Yeah, yeah, listen. Keep this discreet, you hear me? I can't let it get out. I'm offering my services to randos on the street. It was a quick cash grab. Got it? <laughs> Whatever you say, slut. <laughs> Ouch! Ooh, such an insult. Let me know when you come up with something creative to call me, you sack of poorly packaged horse shit. <laughs> Tell the missus I said hi. She not come back. Right. Stack up. Oh, oh, my God. God. Sir, Lord! Pardon? Who said that? 
What did you just say to me, you fried chicken fetuses? Wake up! That wasn't us, Mr. Boss Man. You looking for a fight, old man? Why don't you get that Tinker Toy bullshit off my turf before I smash it? More. Oh, you wanna go, Missy? Well, I'm happy to oblige. <laughs> Good afternoon, I'm Katie Killjoy. And I'm Tom Trench. Chaos out of Pentagram City today as a turf war is raging on the west side between notable kingpin Serpentius and self-proclaimed spunky powerhouse Cherry Bomb. Spunky That's right, powerhouse. Tom. After the recent extermination, many areas are now up for grabs. Demons all over hell are already duking it out to gain new territory. Those two seem to really be going at it, huh? Looks like they're fighting tooth and nail for that hot spot. And I'd sure like to nail her hot spot. <laughs> <laughs> you are a lip dick jackass, Tom. What did I say? Coming up next, we have an exclusive interview with the daughter of Hell's own head honcho, who's here to discuss her brand new passion project. All that and more after the break. Suck it up, you little bitch. Oh, you remember what to say? Yes, let's do this. Just look at me and I'll mouth it to you. Come on, Baggy, I know what to say. I just feel like we need to, I don't know, make things sound more exciting. Oh, what if I sing a song about it? You knew I was gonna say that. Because I know you, but please don't sing. This is serious. Well, you know, I'm bad expressing myself and my goals through song. But life isn't a musical, hun. Fine, but I have these other ideas of what to say. The highlighted bits are the best parts. Oh, uh, it's toy. all <laughs> highlighted. Is this a drawing? Yes, that's the happy ending, see? Everyone's <laughs> smiling and happy in heaven. I don't think it's that simple. Just please follow the talking points we went over. And do not sing. Okay, fine. I'll just have to resort to my impeccable improv skills. <laughs> Hi, I'm Charlie. Katie Killjoy. I'd say it's a pleasure to meet you, but that would be a lie. And you can put that away. I don't touch the gaze. I have standards. Oh, yeah? How's oh that? God. How's that working out for you? Look, <laughs> my time is money, so I'll keep this short. You're not here because we wanted you here. You're here because Jeffrey couldn't make it for his cannibal cooking set. Oh, oh my God! Oh, big shot, but that doesn't mean shit to me. I'm too rich and too influential to give a blind fuck about what some tough wearing demon princess wants to advertise. But I... So don't get shit with me, honey, or I will fucking bury you. And we're live. Welcome back. Go, oh, Charlotte. That is Charlie. Whatever. Tell us about this new passion project you've been insistently pestering our news station about. Well. <clears throat> As most of you know, I was born here in hell, and growing up, I always tried to see the good in everything around me. Hell is my home, and you are my people. We... we just went through another extermination. We lost so many souls, and it breaks my heart to see my people being slaughtered every year. No one is even given a chance. I can't stand idly by while the place I live is subjected to such violence. So, I've been thinking, isn't there a more humane way to hinder overpopulation here in hell? Perhaps we can create an alternative way to change souls through... Redemption? Well, I think yes. So that's what this project Aww. aims to achieve. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm opening the first of its kind. A hotel that rehabilitates sinners. <laughs> <laughs> Is this girl for real? She thinks you hear what she thinks. She's <laughs> oh, she's nuts. I figure it was for the purpose, a place to work towards redemption. Yay! Oh. One of you 
has something good deep down inside. I know you do. Maybe I'm not getting through to you. Oh no. Hmm. I have a dream I'm here to tell about a wonderful, fantastic new hotel. Yes, it's one of a kind right here in hell, catering to a specific clientele. <laughs> Like that. 
sex jokes the whole time, and it's obvious you ain't catching on. I mean, it's just sex. So you think you're gonna get in a lot of trouble for this? Eh, what's one little girl gonna cause? <laughs> Why Glad you haven't changed. You know you're my favorite guy to party with. You know it, sugar tits. You ready to finish this? Born ready. place, you know, to feed all the wayward souls you got in here. Uh, who? 
I speak now? You may. Alistair, pleasure to be meeting you, sweetheart. Quite a pleasure. Excuse my sudden visit, but I saw your fiasco on a picture show, and I just couldn't resist. What a performance! Why, I haven't been that entertained since the stock market crash of 1929. <laughs> so many of us. Stop right there. God, we're all equal at bear. I know your game. And I'm not going to let you hurt anyone here, you pompous, cheesy talk show shit lord. Dear, if I wanted to hurt anyone here, I would have done so already. <laughs> now, I'm here because I want to help. To say what now? Help! <laughs> Hello? Is this thing on? Testing? Testing! Well, I heard you loud and clear. Um, you want to help? With... This ridiculous thing you're trying to do. This hotel. I want to help you run it. But... Why? <laughs> Why does anyone do anything? Sheer, absolute boredom. I lacked inspiration for decades. My work became mundane, lacking focus. Aimless. I have come to crave a new form of entertainment. <laughs> Does getting into a fist fight with a reporter count as entertainment? <laughs> it's the purest kind, my dear. Reality, true passion. After all, the world is a stage, and the stage is a world of entertainment. So, does this mean that you think it's possible to rehabilitate a demon? <laughs> of course not! That's wacky nonsense! Redemption! <laughs> oh, the non-existent humanity! No, 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 no! I don't think there's anything left that could save such loathsome sinners! The chance given was the life they lived before! The punishment is this! There is no one doing what is done! So then, why do you want to help me if you don't believe in my cause? Consider an investment in ongoing entertainment for myself! I want to watch the scum of the world struggle to climb up the hill of betterment, only to repeatedly trip and tumble down to the fiery pit of failure. Right. Hey. Yes, indeedy. I see big things coming your way, and who better to help you than I? Uh, so, uh, what's the deal with smiles over there? Wait, you've never heard of him before? You've been here longer than me. The radio demon. One of the most powerful beings hell has ever seen. Eh, not big on politics. Ugh. Decades ago, Alistair manifested in hell. Seemingly overnight, he began to topple overlords who had been dominant for centuries. That kind of raw power had never been harnessed by a mortal soul before. Then, he broadcast his carnage all throughout hell, just so everyone could witness his ability. Sinners started yeah. calling him mm -hmm. the Radio Demon. As lazy as that is. <laughs> Many have speculated what unimaginable force enabled him to rival our world's most ancient and destructive evils. But one thing's for sure. He's an unpredictable source of danger, a wicked spirit of mystery, and a violent monster of chaos, the likes of which we can't risk getting involved with unless we want to end up erased. You done? He looks like a strawberry fan. Well, I don't trust him. To be fair, do you trust any man? Any man? <laughs> Men? Charlie, listen to me. You can't believe this creep. He isn't just a happy face. He's a deal maker. Pure evil. He can't be redeemed. And is most likely looking for a way to destroy everything we're trying to do. I... we don't know that. Look, I know he's bad, and I know he probably doesn't want to change. But the whole point of this is to give people a chance. And to have faith, things will be better. How can I turn someone away? I can't. It goes against everything I'm trying to do. Everything I believe in. Just trust me. I can take care of myself. Charlie, whatever you do, do not make a deal with him. Don't worry. I picked up one thing from my dad. You don't take shit from other demons. Okay. So, now, you're sketchy as fuck, and you clearly see what I'm trying to do here as a joke. But I don't. I think everyone deserves a chance to prove they can be better, so I'm taking your offer to help. On the condition that there be no trickster voodoo strings attached. So it's a deal then? Yeah, I'm sure there's no trick there. Nope. <laughs> no shaking, no deals. I... There you go. 
That's smart. Mm-hmm. As princess of hell and heir to the throne, I uh, hereby order that you help with this hotel for as long as you desire. <laughs> Sound fair? Fair enough. Cool beans. Smile, my dear. You know you're never fully dressed without one. So where is your hotel staff? Uh, well... Oh, you're going to need more than that. And what can you do, my effeminate fellow? I can suck your dick. Ha! No. Your loss. <laughs> well, this just won't do. I suppose I can cash in a few favors to liven things up.
Is it nifty? That was cute. It was uh, like kind of like more s sweeter and endearing than I thought it would be uh, after a hell of a boss. Yeah, definitely. Um, I think I'm a little sad that like one of our favorite characters, which who we think his name is Nifty, came in so close to the end because I really wanted more of her. Yeah, yeah. I think yeah. I'm pretty sure her name, her name, her name was Nifty. The princess is is, is a nice uh, character. I mean, it's like just so it's. It's impossible not to like her, and I mean, she's so sweet and uh, endearing, and she said cool beans, which I say, so I, I immediately liked her after that as well. Definitely. Um, I love the, the sort of juxtaposition that her character is for being this sort of Disney ingenue who mm -hmm. is a princess, of course, but happens to be the princess of hell. I, I really loved her song in that interview to just kind of see what a fish out of water she is yeah. living in the environment that she lives in, and there's... There is so much potential when you have a fish out of water script. So I, I really hope that they continue with it and release more episodes so that we can see where it goes. I like that song the best, though, with the song in the news um, room. Like, especially when she went, like, you know, double time in there. Yeah. And started, I mean, it was, it, it was hard to keep up exactly what she was saying, but, I mean, yep. it was very impressive, uh, the singing and everything. The radio demon, it was a cool concept, having his voice sound like an old, you know, timey radio uh, announcer um, the entire time. That was good and super powerful. Um, it's gonna be, you know, interesting to see what the ultimate, you know, what the, uh, motivation is, be, you know, he says just because it's, he's bored, but you can't believe that that's the, the, the real reason. Um, so it'll be interesting to see where they take that. The one thing that I liked is that she wasn't a complete fool and she didn't go for yeah. the handshake to make the deal, so that's True. a positive. And then the radio demon just, he's got the Joker vibes not only because of the smile, but just sort of like that general demeanor of like flirting with the line of mania yeah, all the yeah. time and we all know that he's not as helpful and uh, perhaps well-meaning as he's pretending to be in this moment so i'll be very curious to see how that relationship evolves yeah i mean it seems like in order to thrive in hell you have to be you know a, a, a terrible person and ruthless and willing to do anything um, so it's interesting that like you know her kind of being like the most sensitive you know creature in uh hell and um because she didn't do anything bad to get to hell. She was just born in hell. Mm -hmm. um, I thought that was uh, I thought that was interesting as well. Yeah, it definitely it gives a little question over nature versus nurture. <laughs> yeah. Let us know what you thought about this down below in the comments and uh, suggestions for more uh, great shows for us to check out. Yes. Now we're done with uh, Hell Boss and Has Been Hotel. And just keep in mind that our reaction to Has Been Hotel Pilot is definitely not definitive.